Oh, I'm so glad you could join me today. We have a really ooh, a neat multimeter. It's so cool. It's an oscilloscope. It's a multimeter. It's a waveform generator. It's three in one. It's the all new must tool MDS 9208. And a big keep on testing shout out to Banggood. Thanks so much for sending the meter in for this review. You are so cool. Man, oh man, we are rocking the channel lately, haven't we? I mean, just some awesome instruments, uh, meters, uh, thermal cameras, you name it, man, we have it all. It's just been an awesome, awesome year, loving it. And you know, it just keeps getting better. Look at this, today we have this brand new, gorgeous, three-in-one multimeter oscilloscope waveform generator. Oh, this is like, like Christmas. Hey, start things off, we get our oscilloscope multimeter user manual. Um, Give it a read because lots going on with this bad boy. Uh, it tells us a lot of info here. All the specs, what have you, uh, really nice. And I believe this one is just in English. Yeah, so the whole manual completely in English. Uh, definitely you want to give it a one look over or maybe just lots of looks over. Here we have our test leads as well. Uh, standard kind of, you know, good looking test leads. 1000 volt, 10 amp, cat three. Look to be on the bigger side. We'll look at those in a bit. And of course that gorgeous multimeter oscilloscope waveform generator. I mean, look at it. Oh my goodness. This is a good looking meter and it didn't even turn it on yet, but uh, wow. Oh wow. We have this nice rubberized boot as well because it actually does come off. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And we have a rechargeable port over here. Um, you know, I, it, this looks like it would come off, but it actually doesn't. I know I tried for like 10 minutes trying to pull it off, but it doesn't come off. It just looks really cool. On the back, of course, we have our tilt stand. And I mean, just generally speaking, it is such a sweet looking meter. Tilt stand, once again, is solid. This is not going anywhere. It doesn't flap around. It doesn't do the flippy flippy. Uh, looking good. I like it. And I love those indents now. We're seeing this more often. So, you know, if your test leads are underneath, it's not going to make it fall over or anything. It's, it's just all around really good. And look at that. Look at that. That is for the USB-C because it is chargeable. Rechargeable. Oh, gorgeous. All right, for the moment of truth, let's turn on the meter. Oh, Oh, yes. Beauty. Oh, beauty. I love, I love that font. I, I, I know we've seen this before in other meters, but it just works for me. I just think it's so nice, nice, crystal clear. And I gotta say, the screen is really well. You can wipe it, you can, you know, whatever. It does not scratch, or if it does scratch, it's gonna take a lot because this screen can take some abuse and that is definitely a good thing. Uh, scrolling down, look at the colors. Now, this is cool. As you move that dial, it changes colors. Changes colors. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, it's just like, it, it, it's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow. Oh, two offs, nine o'clock, three o'clock. Oh, ho, ho. I turn the lights down, look at that. It's just so easy, breezy on the eyes. And I mean, it, you have that illuminated dial. So, I mean, this is going to help you see in low light conditions, obviously. Oh man, what a nice looking meter. Hey, this meter has a 50 megabit per second high speed sampling chip, 12 megahertz analog bandwidth, uh, 6,000 count display. So yeah, 12 megahertz, I know it's not a lot, but hey, it can do the trick sometimes. Signal source, you get three different types of waveforms, uh, a sine wave, triangle, square wave, um, you name it, uh, loads. You've even got uh, database functionality in multimeter mode as well. Um, the list goes on and on. 2.4 inch color screen display, gorgeous. Right now we have the must tool in output mode is actually outputting a wave signal, uh, a signal generator. And that is really cool. Right now we have a square wave, uh, one kilohertz, duty cycle 50%, three volts, peak to peak, and check it out. Can also change that waveform. Let's take it to, oh, let's try a sine wave. And there we go. 
Nice looking sine wave, I must say. Uh, hey, let's try a ramp wave. And there we go. Sawtooth, ramp wave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nice, nice. So very cool. Not only is it a multimeter oscilloscope, but we also have that uh, outputting wave form functionality as well. Very nice. Quick FYI, when we have it in the waveform generator mode, we want to make sure we have the input in out as well. So that red input is in the out input. Okay, right now we are in oscilloscope mode. And uh, now take this with a grain of salt once again. I mean, it's not a full blown oscilloscope as I mentioned before, but at least you have that uh, uh, waveform functionality. Um, I've got it hooked up right now to a uh, waveform generator and we are presently looking at a square wave and 500 millivolts peak to peak, one volt offset. And that's a pretty decent looking square wave. Let's change it to a sine wave now. And once again, no problemo. Ramp wave, pulse wave, arbitrary wave. Function keys here at the bottom, F1 through F4. Uh, those are your main oscilloscope keys. Uh, you have your time-based adjustment with F1. F2 is our range adjustment for voltage. Trigger control is F3, and the coupling me method, ACDC, is F4. So, you know, pretty basic, but hey, it does the job. Let's talk a little bit about holding of the signal waveforms. Uh, as you're getting the data from that waveform, uh, the const it's constantly being refreshed. So if you want to stop data collection and keep the display content, uh, you can do that by pressing the save key and that'll just save that waveform data acquisition. So the save key right there, press save and we have now saved that waveform, which we can look at later if we want. Now that being said, uh, you have a pretty small uh, memory here. You can only save 10 oscilloscope waveform waveforms. Um, so yeah, it's kind of limited. But uh, if you want to access those, simply do this. So press the save keys we already did to save that current waveform. Uh, save again and hold down for two seconds. Bada boom, bada bing. Now you're basically in database mode. So if we press F1 or F2, these are records that we can look at. So you can see at the top here, we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's it, 10 waveforms, no more, no less. When you have the location that you want, press save again for two seconds and bada boom, bada bing. So that waveform is now saved uh, as number 10 in the database. Guess what? It's charging. How do you know? How do you know? Well, we have that awesome purple hue here at the top. This has those 18650 lithium batteries. Uh, awesome. Now, unfortunately though, if you turn the meter on, it stops charging. You can see the charging status here, but if you turn it back off, hey, it's charging. Uh. Gonna look at diodes now. Let's get it into diode mode. Gonna hit that F3, as you can see, that is our select function. And there we go. All right, here we go. Starting off the red LED, lit with a Ford voltage drop. Green, the same. Yellow, yes. The white, all good. And the blue, all good. Hey, five for five. This I'm liking. Standard diodes, not a problem. Now we don't get that nice audible diode beep, but it works just great. Output voltage in diode mode, 3.26 volts. Hey, December's coming up. Oh, and it is one of my favorite times of the year. Yes, it's Christmas. It's a time of all things green and sparkly and red too. Uh, hey, guess what? Keepontesting.com. Visit the website. It is awesome. We have all sorts of cool stuff here. Into meters, electronics. Definitely put it on your short list. We have some great bloggers, including Paul Taylor, who does some amazing stuff on Keepontesting.com. Check it out. Some great articles, stuff you won't see anywhere else. Join. The membership, yes, it's completely free. It doesn't cost you a thing. It takes like two seconds. Sign up at keepontesting.com and you can win a multimeter. Two, possibly three giveaways in December for all members of keepontesting.com. Stay tuned. Now, winners will be announced December 24th, Christmas Eve. I love it. Selector switch wise, it's not bad. It's a little sluggish, a teeny bit sluggish. Um, it won't get lost between ranges, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, 
not as tactile as I would like. Looks darn good, though. Alrighty, it's continuity time. Stock default test leads. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. It is loud. We have that nice visual as well. And it is latch. Let's try the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Oh, yeah. Lash is a little bit quicker. Super loud. Awesome. Seventy-eight decibels, maximum output in continuity. That ain't too shabby. In low current right now, with that high precision current reference, one hundred milliamps is the output, and we are coming in awfully close at ninety-nine point eight milliamps. So to take off that boot, it actually comes off in pieces. So it's not one solid uh, protective layer. It's it's actually two pieces. Uh, you just take it apart like so. And there you go. So two parts to that puzzle. But um, yeah, one, two, three, four Phillips to open up this bad boy. First thing you notice is that gorgeous 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. And that is just in like so. Now it has a window here. So when it's over the meter like that, you can see that uh, it's got some calibration headers or some sort of programmable headers for factory calibration uh, easy accessible without uh, removing the whole back you gotta say taking the back off this was a trial and tribulation um man this thing was in there so tight and there was a hidden screw here with that uh, qa tag so five screws to remove that cover now that being said you're not going to really have to remove the cover because what do you notice yeah there's no replaceable fuses. No. Instead, we've got these uh, SMD style fuses on both the high current as well as the milliamp. And we don't even have a current shunt. We have a current sensing resistor over here. So, wow, they've really gone, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, they've gone. I'm not a big fan of current sensing resistors. I do prefer to see a, a, a standard current shunt. That being said, uh, it is what it is. We have a little diode clamp over here. This is the uh, two pin connector for that uh, lithium ion battery. And uh, look at those input jacks. A little bit of flux going on here. Um, soldering is okay. It's kind of so-so, but uh, yeah, and moving up the line, look at this, look at this. So that resistor array is hidden underneath this shielding. Now that is a nice touch. So we do have a little bit of shielding on this cheapo multimeter. And moving up the line, oh, it's getting a little interesting. Here at the top, way at the top, that is our main IC. It's the STM32 STM series. It's a, a microcontroller um, IC based on 32-bit RISC ARM, ARM Cortex uh, Core uh, running at 48 megahertz. So it's 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 a good chip. It's a good chip. And right over here beside it is our EEP ROM. This is the uh, A24C256A series erasable and programmable EEP ROM. So it's it's always talking to the main IC. Um a little bit below that over here Check it out, that's the ADC. That's the ADC, it's a, a 10 position, 2.7 volt to 5.5 volt, 35 megahertz parallel, um, analog to digital converter, right there. Oh, man. So, I mean, basically the oscilloscope, the data logger functionality, uh, essentially it's graphing and store, storing data uh, generated from the, the ADC, cool. Top over here, we have the ribbon connector for the display and of course our speaker. And of course we have our uh, USB in charging port right over here. So, uh, you know, cool package, a little bit different than what we normally see, but uh, hey, awesome. All right, you're gonna put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. One thing I wanna point out is look at the thickness of the PCB, that's pretty thick. So, uh, yeah, good, great PCB. Um, that means the board's gonna stay, you know, in better shape for longer. It's gonna be able to handle heat uh, better than the thinner boards. Uh, it's just good quality PCB, good stuff. Closing thoughts on the Must Tool. MDS 9208. Oh, this is, hmm, yeah, it's a keeper. Hey, anytime you get a multimeter, oscilloscope, and function generator all in one, you know it's going to be a good thing. And this is definitely a good thing. It's not a full-fledged oscilloscope. I know, I know, but it really doesn't pretend to be either.
Hey, we're talking about a $40 US meter here. Uh, that is pretty darn fair price. Not too long ago, these things would have cost triple that. So prices have come way down. And honestly, the fit and finish on this is par excellence. Definitely a quality build inside and out. Nothing was funky or weird. It just worked, no glitches. That's the way I like it. Hey, if you're in the market for a multimeter slash oscilloscope slash function generator, definitely put this one on your short list because at the end of the day, it's wicked. The Must Tool MDS 9208 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.